Chapter 10, Lesson 2 Determining Right of Way and Judging Gaps Why do intersections naturally cause conflict? Know how and when to yield the right of way. Know how to judge the amount of space and time to enter traffic safely. Objective Define right of way. What is right of way? The term right of way describes the privilege of having immediately use, use of a certain part of the roadway. You have the right of way only when other drivers give it to you. It is not something you take. Laws determine who must yield. Yield when you want others to go first. Yield to prevent a collision. Yield to be courteous. Objective. Describe situations in which the driver must yield right away. Yield the right of way. Knowing the right of way laws will help you make safe decisions. Yield at stop signs to pedestrians in or near crosswalk. All traffic on the through streets. Yield at fresh green lights, pedestrians still in the crosswalks, vehicles still in the intersection. Yield coming from an alley, driveway, or private roadway to pedestrians before reaching the sidewalk, all vehicles in the street. Yield at all yield signs, all pedestrians in or near crosswalks, all vehicles on the cross streets. Yield to emergency vehicles. Sounding a siren or using a, a flashing light, stop clear of the intersection close to a curb. Wait for emergency vehicles to pass. Yield when turning left at an intersection to all pedestrians in your turn path, all oncoming vehicles that are at all close, all on, oncoming vehicles that are at all close. Yield at four-way stops, all to all pedestrians in or near crosswalks. Vehicles that arrive first, a vehicle from the right if you arrive at the same time. Yield at uncontrolled intersections when pedestrians are in the crosswalk. Any vehicles that has entered the intersection, a vehicle from the right if you both arrive at the same time. When deciding whether or not to yield, remember, do not cause those to whom you should yield to slow, stop, or change their path of travel. Traffic signs only show who should yield the right of way. They do not stop traffic for you. Do not assume others will always yield to you. Many times it is better to yield the right of way even when the laws require the other drivers to yield. Objective. Predict how long it takes to cross and join traffic. Judge the size of the gap. Before entering a street, after stopping, you must find and judge a large enough gap in traffic. A gap is the distance between two vehicles. Will you have time to enter or pass through traffic safely? That's the question you have to ask yourself. The size of the gap that you need depends on the maneuver you plan to make and the speed of oncoming traffic. Does it take more time to turn left, right, or pass through traffic? Joining traffic. Turning right on left Turning right or left into lanes of other traffic is joining traffic. 
accelerate to the speed of the through traffic without interfering with the flow of traffic. The faster traffic is moving, the larger the gap must be. To turn right into traffic, you need a larger gap than you do to cross traffic. Turning right and accelerating to 30 miles per hour takes about 6 seconds. Why is turning left to join traffic more dangerous than turning right? Turning left, you have to cross traffic. Review what is meant by yielding the right of way. List two factors that determine how big a gap must be before entering an intersection. 